John McGilvery coached soccer at Cedarville University for 42 years before announcing his retirement following the 2015 women's season. He amassed a total of 375 victories during his career, 215 in the 24 years he coached the Yellow Jacket men, and 160 more with the Lady Jackets over his final 18 campaigns. McGilvery established himself as one of the most well-respected soccer coaches in the country, both on and off the field. Dr. Don Callen was the athletic director at the time who first hired McGilvery to coach the men in 1974. I first met John in my office. He was interviewing with me, hoping to come as a student. And I was impressed with him, very religious young man. But as I talked with him, I found out he really didn't know Christ as a savior. So we talked about that. And, and uh, he made a decision to follow Christ, not right there, but as he went along in his life and came to school, one of our outstanding students, because he was so dedicated and so committed to what he was doing, became an outstanding uh, teacher locally. And as a result, why we always kept an eye on him, said he's the man we want when we have a teaching opening. And that's how we hired originally. Well, we hired him in the 74, I think it was. I went out of the country and came back and, and uh, John's on the staff by then. And uh, I pointed him, I pointed him soccer coach. We said, coach, I never, I've never been a coach. How can I do that? And I, I said, well, hey, we all have to do things we don't want to do. And uh, he took over, he was, in, he was uh, well-trained, he, he studied all he could, he read all the books, he knew all the coaches, and uh, he became an example of the believer, in addition to become a wonderful representative of Cedar Rural University and the coaching of soccer. John has been marvelous for us, he's a great teacher, he's been valuable in our, in our academic pursuits, and uh, as we say, the old times, we did it all. And John really did it all and tried to help us in almost any way he could. So I have great respect for him, and I, boy, if you can hire people like that, you're gonna have a great program. McGilvery's men won eight conference titles during his tenure, had two NCCAA runner-up showings, and made the school's only NAIA national tournament appearance in 1974. The Lady Jackets sent him into retirement in style. They won the 2015 Great Midwest Athletic Conference Championship and earned the league's first ever automatic bid to the NCAA Division II Championship. One of his former players and his assistant coach was Breanne Barnes. I think Coach Mack uh, has left a big legacy of being a servant leader. I think everyone in the town of Cedarville knows that if something's broken or you need help with something, whether it's mechanical or yard related or whatever, that you can call John McGilvery and he'll be able to come and fix it for you or he'll look it up and figure out how to do it for you. That's just kind of um, the type of guy that he is as far as being a servant and dropping things that he's doing at a moment's notice to come and help. And I think that too has really had an impact on me. Just it's easy in a, in a coaching profession to get caught up in what's going to make me happy and what's best for me. But coach really set the bar um, as far as how can I serve others and how can I show them that I care about them by helping them in any way that I can. McGilvery's teams were long remembered for their sportsmanlike behavior on the field. He also led 15 missions trips between the men and women sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ around the globe. A member of the Cedarville University and NAIA Halls of Fame, congratulations again to John McGilvery for a job well done and for leaving a lasting legacy.